how do I make a YouTube video? You know, it's easier than you think. But let me go through the steps and really try to help you how you can make a YouTube video. The first thing I do, right, I really batch out my videos. So I try to do two, three videos in a day. And what I do is I do research first. Meaning what I want to do is I have about three things I want to talk about. I want to talk about traction marketing, affiliate marketing, and YouTube or video making. So what I'll do is I go out and I do my research. I look for keywords, long tail keywords. Like how do I make a YouTube video in 2020? And what I do is I use VidIQ or TubeBuddy. I actually use TubeBuddy and I'll put a link in it for below. It's a great great tool but I'll put that headline in the keyword analyzer and it'll tell me which one is the best and I, what I do is I, I do different things so I search pool versus search volume meaning views and velocity I want to see how many people are looking at it I want to see how fast they're looking at it how many people are actually looking for that word and if there's a lot of competition for it and I'll put there's a video I put together that shows that for you and how you work with YouTube, buddy. It was really, really pretty easy. The next thing what I do is before I get started, I do an SEO brief, meaning I want to know the title. I'll write out a description and I'll write out my tags and I put them in my notebook or note card or whatever you use or a text file on my computer. And then I write out my script. See, I, some people will use a teleprompter. I don't. I have my computer closed. So I do sticky notes or I do something that kind of keeps me on track, but I'm ready to go with my video right away. Okay, so the first thing I do research, second thing I do SEO brief, meaning I'm going to look to see what tags, description and, and whatnot. I, I look for the research and then the third one is I write out my script. And the script's really pretty easy. You need a hook, meaning your headline and your uh, thumbnail for your video then you need to put out the content and at the end you need a call to action for something for people to do you want to send them somewhere and then I film it and I keep it really pretty simple see when I started out and I still do it today I I don't have a, a lot of fancy equipment I use an iPhone or my computer that's all I use and the you know the phones nowadays come with such great cameras they just work really simple I have a simple little tripod I put my phone on and I'm sitting inside my RV right and that's what I film with so I keep it really pretty s simple what I'll do is I'll upload my video to my computer when I'm done and I do some editing and then I have a program called Camtasia I've had for a really long time I use a MacBook it's Camtasia for Mac there's a couple other ones you can use but you can use do it in iMovie too I do an A roll and a B roll and I didn't know what those words were when, I first, were when they first got started. A-roll is what you see right now. Me talking. And B-roll is where you put, where, where in your editor you put it up over my image. Or you'll see something pop up in the screen right there. Or I put might put a video up that's taking over the video so you don't see my talking head all the time. Um, and that's probably pretty good. You're, you really want to keep people's attention. And then the fifth one is I edit it. And that's where I put the A-roll, B-roll on. I'll, I'll shorten things up. I'll make sure the audio is good. I'll make sure the video's portion of it's good. And then it's good to go. And then I upload it to YouTube. And again, I use TubeBuddy. So what I do is I upload it to YouTube as unlisted or private. I, I think my, um, oh, I, I, what do you call them? Anyway, when I, it's already set to where I upload it, already goes in as private. So I can go in and up, optimize. Now, when I'm talking about optimizing, I'm going to put my tags, my headline, and my description in. And I've already done it before. So all i got to do is copy and paste and make sure everything looks good. And then I go. And then, after that's done, I'll do my prep work, get ready to promote it, and then I publish it. That's all it is. Right When I feel too, the video looks good, I'm ready. I might write an email for it. Um, I, I know what time I schedule mine out. I don't, I'll don't. i make a video and I'll have it inside my computer for a couple of days and then I'll send it out. That's all I do. Really pretty easily. 
And then within the first 24 hours, I look for engagement. Because anytime somebody makes a comment, I want to reply in that first 24 hours. So YouTube says this video has some merit. That's all it is. Then I continue to promote my videos. Because YouTube, you'll, you'll see me send out, a, whether on social media, I do social media, I do LinkedIn, Pinterest, uh, I put it to Reddit, uh, I put it to, uh, I'll, I'll put it up in small little batches and put it on Instagram. And I put it in my blog. So, And then what I'll do is I'll repurpose that as I go. So that's all I do. So if I can go through the list again, I had 11 points. The first one was I do research. I'm scrolling through my notes to make sure I hit them all. Then I do an SEO brief. I write my script with a hook content call to action. I film it, keeping it simple. And then I do uh, my editing and I upload the video. Once I upload the video, I optimize it, making sure... You know, I upload it as private or unlisted. And then I put my tags in my headline, my description in. I make sure everything looks clean. I publish it. And then within the first 24 hours, I'm looking for comments to make sure I reply to them. I put my own comment on. I pin it. And then I'm asking for people to make comments. So then I publish it. I engage the comments. And then I can continue to promote it. So at the very end, what I talked about is you have to have a call to action. So hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that little bell because that's where you start seeing my notices. And I put out videos twice a week, um, maybe three times a week for sure. Every Monday they go out and you'll see those and get notice of what I'm putting out. Again, I'm, I usually teach about uh, videos and SEO, YouTube videos and SEO, affiliate marketing or traction marketing. So peace out. You take care. Hit that subscribe button below. I got some links down below you can hit find different videos of mine and also some other great stuff.